This is my 1978 A36 Bonanza, call sign November 70 Tango Bravo. Fairly new paint still makes it look shiny, and much younger than the 40 years it's been since it left the Beechcraft factory in Wichita, Kansas. Powered by a 285 horsepower IO520 engine, it's taken me safely to countless destinations across the US. My favorite place, of course, the cockpit, with dated but capable instrumentation. In the back, there's plenty of space for passengers and luggage. On this cold and clear December morning, I'm flying to Madison, Wisconsin to have my favorite breakfast at the Jet Room, the on-field restaurant there. With me is Matt Gunderson, a flight instructor and owner of an S-model Bonanza with the famous V-tail. We are co-workers, we are good friends, and today we're pilots in airplanes having breakfast. Hey, morning, Martin. Good morning, Matt. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Ready for some good breakfast? Yeah. I'm glad we're in here. It's warm. Yeah. But uh, I actually have not been in this place much. Oh, well, I've spent uh, many a weekend here. Let me show you around a little bit. Okay. Pilot Lounge. And uh, the best thing about this place, the best secret, now everybody on YouTube is going to know this. So I'll be coming to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Ha ha. What? A sauna. Yeah. In the FBO building. So when you're teaching in Iowa winters in really uh, cold Cessnas, this comes in really handy after uh, doing some lessons. I've never seen that at any airport. Yeah, I use it too. <laughs> <laughs> and your iPad's probably frozen like mine. So you know it was designed in California because when you turn it on and it's you know 30 below outside, it says yeah. your iPad is too hot. Yes. <laughs> I've actually Please had that happen cool a couple down. of times. So I'm going to be interested to see how, what your conclusion is because when I looked at this, I saw icing uh, between two and four thousand feet. Not here. Right. <laughs> be sure to read all of those uh, light bulbs burnt out. You know the uh, all the obstruction lights, right? You know those are really important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the 150 foot towers with light bulbs burnt out. Yeah, and 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 whether they have birds in the vicinity today or, or not, because some days the birds are on right. the ground, and they, yeah. but today they might be flying. All right, sounds good. Let's go get some eggs Benedict. Yeah. That's right here, uh, this one. 403. 403. This is the home of 70 Tango Bravo. Wow. So now we've got a tough choice to make. Do we open the door for light or do we leave it closed for heat? Light. Light. So while 8612 Quebec isn't nearly as famous as, as 70 Tango Bravo, we all know that my plane is faster, right? That is true, yes. You have not just the, the uh, V-tail with one less drag producing surface, but um, you have an S model, right? Yes. And those are is it S for speed or how's it named? Slippery. Slippery. <laughs> yeah. In case you feel sick. So is that KLM I see? I, I can tell you few pilots offer as many choices to their passengers when they have to throw up as I do. <laughs> I have uh, KLM, I have Delta, I have Air France, I have uh, Lufthansa, I have... Wow. Yep. Anything is better than your flight bag. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know. You know, the very first time I flew in this plane, I threw up. I was not feeling that you, good that you day. You threw up in your own airplane? Well, it wasn't my own airplane yet. Oh. <laughs> it was, okay. it, it was uh, when I looked at it for the first time. And I was in the back seat flying backwards. I was not feeling that good that day. We landed somewhere on the way back. I um, said, uh, do you have a bag? I says, no. Oh, so no. So the, the uh, owner gave me his hat, like a baseball cap. <laughs> I can picture that too well. Let's see what else do we need? Key. Get a little Christmas music going. Oh yeah. Frosty the snowman. That's what all good instructors do. That isn't too frosty the snowman. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, you can really see the water vapor yeah, coming from the industrial plants as clearly as today. There's been a number of times where when the wind is blowing from the north or the northwest, it, it, they'll be reporting IFR at the really? airport just because of that. <laughs> and it'll be clear everywhere else. Is that Allegiant coming out? Um, we'll know if we see parts falling off of it. <laughs> really nice to have a sunny day for once. It's been so cloudy the last couple weeks. Every day in not Iowa. I would take another 50 or 60 degrees on top of what we have today, but uh, yeah, this is better than what we had. So, uh, Costco had a, I saw Costco had a uh, Black Friday deal where you could uh, join Wheels Up for 15,000 999 bucks, and you got like a $5,000 gift card to uh, Wheels Up, a $5,000 oh. credit, and then you get a $3,000 gift card to Costco. And I was taking a look at it, because you can buy it online. And there was one review, and the guy gave a negative review, that the crew wouldn't let me, wouldn't let me fly the plane. <laughs> if I had known that, I would have flown Spirit. <laughs> Is the 70 Tango Bravo Cedar Rapids Tower turn right heading 290, runway 27, cleared for takeoff. Right heading 290, cleared for takeoff, runway 27, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. Clear runway, we approach. Lights are on. Yes, we live. Here up. Uh, departure, good morning, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, leaving 1,700, climbing 5,000. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids departure, radar contact, turn right heading 010, climb maintain 7,000. Right heading 010, climb maintain 7,000, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. This is the best thing about flying in the winter. You know, a lot of people think. It's not any fun to fly in the winter, but it is always glassy smooth like this. Yeah. Great climb performance. Kind of makes me wish I was flying my plane right now. Yeah, you'd be at 7,000 already. <laughs> I'd already be in Madison. There's my house. Right there along the river. Yeah. Look at that razor sharp line on the right there where the inversion is. Yeah, I didn't. Sharp. I didn't look at the skew T diagram this morning, but I could probably pull it up right now and see what's going on here. All right, so, oh yeah, we got a wicked uh, temp inversion. Look at that. Yeah. So, actually, there's two of them. I'm not sure I've ever seen that before. So there's uh, the temp declines uh, to about 500 feet, or yeah. uh, oh, oh, just under 1,000, sorry. And that's what we saw on the ground. I don't know how you could be an instrument pilot without knowing how to use the skew T diagram. They're just so helpful. Yeah, there's a lot of information there if you know how to read it. The only thing that can make this flight better is in-flight coffee and better better internet connection. I absolutely love Now, you don't get ADS-B in on your 530 or 430, correct? No, I don't. Okay. But yeah, I, can, I can get it here, you know, the radar, or it can look up. Uh, I, uh, it's funny, I actually can't see your display with my a, my broken sunglasses. I have to turn my head. There we go. Man, this is so nice. About to cross the Mississippi here. Airport and center, uh, and we're gonna start a descent uh, through Sierra Victor. 113 Sierra Victor, roger. I like uh, that uh, terminated ADS-B shows squad. the call signs of participating and, uh, we'll up front. Yeah. So when they talk on the radio, oh, you can oh, see where they are. Victor. These, these cloud tops are much lower than I thought. And it's really thin, which is good. Remember 26 Hotel, turn right heading 320. So you were thinking 4,000, I was thinking 3,700. I think we're both gonna be wrong. Let's see, 6,200 now. Looks like a big Sherpa blanket. It doesn't look like it's more than 1,000 feet thick though. Yeah. All right, let's punch through this. Between you and Watertown, radar service terminated. Squad BFR. Now you're really smart. YouTube fans probably know that the worst icing is always right at the top. In strato cumulus clouds, 
Yeah, but this this seems too stratus stratus ish. I can, Yeah, I actually, you know what? We're not going to get anything. I can see right through the. Yeah. I can see the surface. Yeah, this is nothing. We've got the pedo heat on. We got the uh, windshield heat on. Now that's one thing that makes winter flying so tough is you look at the CIP uh, icing products that they have on aviationweather.gov and like this morning it showed moderate icing forecast which is really conservative. Yeah. And clearly this is this is nothing. I'll be impressed if we pick up anything. All right, we'll know in a second. That's why you got to look at so many different weather products. Zero Tango Bravo, turn left heading zero six zero. Left heading zero six zero, but it's zero Tango Bravo. Clean as a whistle. Yep, nothing on my side. Did you turn the heat off? Nope. Oh. Must it, be it the got colder here. Outside air is colder. Oh yeah. Oh wow. You can really it's feel that, right? Down to almost minus ten. Yeah, I can feel it. <laughs> I thought maybe it was the sun going away. Well, that probably too. Yeah. November 7, Zero Tango Bravo with the uh, high rep. Uh, the basis are uh, 3,000 and negative ice in the descent. Zero Tango Bravo, thank you. See the airport at 10 o'clock and 10 miles. Uh, we don't have it yet. I'll uh, call it when it's inside. When it's Zero Tango Bravo. Okay, airport. Do you see an airport? Here, down and lock. Three greens. Kansas Zero Tango Bravo, runway speed, Madison Tower, runway 32, cleared to land. Runway 32, clear to land, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. Bonanza uh, 0 Tango Bravo, use caution ahead and to your left, a flock of birds uh, appears to be headed uh, northeast bound. Uh, looking for it, Bonanza 0 Tango Bravo, thank you. Another one. They oh, should be on, oh yep, straight ahead. You might want to level oh, off. Oh yeah. They'll dive. Convoy 3597, contact departure, good day. Oh, it's better to stay above the birds, there you go. Oh wow. Those are ducks. Amphibious aircraft. Oh, the owner of Duncan Aviation is here. Oh, that was a little fast. Not bad. There's Bravo. And we got a couple uh, hawks or eagles. Jeez. Oh, yeah. oh, those are bald eagles. Yeah, so that green, uh, that green Mustang over there, in the wild paint. Yeah. I believe that's the owner of Dun uh, Duncan Aviation. Oh, okay. Wow, it's busy here. Premium. Hey, there's wheel, uh, wheels up. Somebody got their Costco Black Friday deal. Shopping and credit card. Is it is it legal or not to carry alcohol across state borders in the U.S.? No, yeah. I've been told up to a certain quantity. Okay, so if we took the crew car, ran over to the nearest gas station and got a couple of cases of spotted cow, that would be uh, something we can publish on YouTube. Or? <laughs> Hi, We've got a fuel bill to pay for seven zero Tango Bravo. And if we have a crew car available, we would uh, like to borrow that for a half hour. All right, we've got the, the keys. It's actually getting a little sunny now. Yeah. I love how they have nice cars here. They've, and they don't even charge you for it. Looks like this one. Are you PIC? 
I can be, yeah. Now it really is pilots and cars getting beer. Oh man, that Eggs Benedict is so good, but it's so filling. Spotted Cow happens to be the favorite beer of co-pilot Becky. <laughs> uh, she's not here today, but she will like it when we, we get that beer. I think I have one left in my fridge, in my hanger. So it's only fitting. I don't think I'm going to need to eat the rest of this weekend. Holy cow. I feel like a whale. Maybe it was those five cups of coffee I drank too. That probably doesn't help. Yeah. That was a quick trip. Yeah, let's go there. Cold drinks. I'll get one for the hangar. I don't mind Moon Man. Okay. You ever had the that uh, unicorn beer? No. Is it any good? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks cool. Yeah. Good. How are you doing today? I'm doing alright. Is that not a Yeah. Is that alright? It's perfectly fine as long as you don't sell it, right? No. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay. Thanks. You too. This alone is worth the flight. I like how this car doesn't smell like a wet dog. Like my car. That's nice. And this has, uh, look at that. It's got mirrors. Yeah. It's amazing. You know the restaurant's good when you smell food and not jet fuel at an airport. Yeah. Especially this greasy food. Oh, except that it's so full. All right, mission accomplished. All right. <laughs> Everybody comes back with spotted cow. Everybody from out of state, right? Everybody from out of state. Thank you very much. Yes, absolutely. This is why we sell cheese curds, because we can't have a liquor license, but we want to send people home with a little Wisconsin. Ah, okay. You know, if you could sell this, this would double oh, your, yeah. triple, oh, yeah, triple your traffic here. Well, thanks for everything. See you next time. It seems like a liquor license at the FBO is a potential hazard with pilots coming in yeah. and out. I think they, flig they figured out that the. Uh, so I think we need we, to. Just we do get have a to look at that, that thing, yeah. They figured out that the uh, drive through liquor store wasn't so good. <laughs> so a fly through. Yeah. Oh, I have man. never seen one of these in real life. Neither have I. Oh, so this, wow. this is. This is a turbine bonanza. Mo oh, highly man. modified in the front for this big turbine engine. Oh. That's Probably goes over 200 knots. TKS, wow. Wow, I bet this is a blast to fly. I believe it's an Allison, but I could be wrong. But when are flight instructors ever wrong? Never. I only sat in a Mooney once. And uh, when I climbed in, uh, I said, oh, wow. And the guy goes, yeah, you don't get into a Mooney. You put one on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this show on the road. Did you recalculate our weight and balance after eating? Okay, oil looks good. Engine is still nice and warm. Chalk removed, check the fuel. Good to go. What are we looking at, Matt? Surface analysis, we got crazy high pressure. We all know that. Metars, so it's broken at 2100, which is, I mean, if we stayed low coming out of here. That's very broken there. I think we'll find yeah, a Yeah, I mean, you could find a hole. You could easily above. pop up above it. Tafts, same as what we saw. Tons of light bulbs burnt out. You want me to read off all the light bulb burnt out notams? No, we got to go through them. <laughs> all right. My hand is frozen. No TFRs. Something about rattlesnakes. Gotta read the one about rattlesnakes here. Rattlesnake frequencies in the area. Okay. Uh, do you ever watch out for the circling cats? Just fine. That's doable. All right. Are we going? Let's get in. All right. Oh, 
from open mix to reach breaks. Yeah. No problem. I do this once every five flights or so I leave. I call a clear prop only to find the keys are still in my pocket. Ed Jet's playing here. Other people are uh, looking at the Urban Bonanza with interest too. Yep. Wow, look at the exhaust on that thing. Yeah. Wow, that's really shiny. Guy takes care of it. So, Matt, what's your next airplane? Uh, well, I really want a Malibu. I'm super obsessed with Malibus for some reason. Have you flown in one? Uh, no. I've sat in one. But only on the ground. But there's a lot of things I like about it. It's pressurized, got nice ramp appeal. Uh, really high altitude performance, high high cruising speed, high maintenance costs. Yeah, it has that for sure. <laughs> hey, they don't have a run-up pad. I'll just move over here to the side for a minute for the run-up. We have a line of regional jets behind us. We do. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a seven zero Tango Bravo Madison Tower. Good afternoon. Proceed on course Cedar Rapids runway two one. Cleared for takeoff. High hawk landing runway one eight. We'll hold short of the runway. Yes, be alive. Can't feel my toes. This is your Tango Bravo contact departure. Have a good flight. Uh, thank you. Contact departure and have a good day. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo. Pretty impressive homes right on the lake there. Wow. Conquest 3, Romeo Charlie, contact tower, 100.3, good day. Looks like Newport, Rhode Island. Where's the Kennedy compound? <laughs> wow. There's the capital. Nice view. Beautiful. There's that tall tower you're talking about. Yeah. I sure hope the light bulb is not burnt out. We got two of them. And they uh, wow. can't. The college is right over here. Have a right. uniform? That's a great question. I don't. Uh, 135.45 now, please. There's the stadium. Uh, so 7 cool. uniforms up on 135.45. Thank you very much. Have you ever tried hauling furniture from IKEA in here? We need to get some bookshelves from IKEA. And, uh,. I think they're like 85 inches long. I think that's just a little too long to fit in a Bonanza. Do you mind if we land? I gotta go to the bathroom. Just kidding. So, what would happen if I, can I Bluetooth my phone to this, which would then play over or how does that work with the Bluetooth? Yeah, if, if you Bluetooth connect the phone, then you can use it for phone and for music. I have that on. So, so you could you could like play Spotify over all the. Well, anything that your phone outputs, right? So I can. Uh... That's as good, yeah. I've been pretty close to a drone over Chicago once. Oh, really? That uh, 4,000 MSL. Really? I mean, so clo close enough that I could count the number of rotors that it had. No kidding. Did you, you probably didn't see it until too late. I saw it a while before, but it that was years ago when drones were not that popular, and it looked like a balloon at first. Oh, wow. That's what I was expecting to, to see as I got closer and closer, and then the dot turned into something with more structure, and... Wow. You know, I was, I was reading... It might have even been an AOPA article. I've read a lot of articles. Mike Bush even had one on on where the old wives' tale came from on 25 squared. But the one that I read the most recently that actually makes the best sense that I can 
explain to other people is... 3351, what's your uh, plan to apparently, the climb? Apparently... Uh, in, in the military, they wanted to standardize training for every pilot, uh, regardless of the type of airplane they actually flew in, so that when they flew the geared radials, they already were used to flying oh, okay. 25 squared. So they were flying, you know, non-geared uh, trainers, but they taught them 25 squares so that everybody flew every airplane the exact same way, yep. so that when they finally got into geared radials, they didn't have to learn a new trick. That makes sense, yep. And then, of course, then the rest we've all heard before. Then they went out and they started becoming instructors. And they taught in horizontally opposed piston engines. And they taught 25 squared. And now we continue to live with that nasty old wives tale that just refuses to die. Yeah. Hey, we've got 15 minutes to go. There's one thing we've done once before. That I'd like to do again if it's okay with you. Sure. I think it was a nice demonstration of how easily you can lose all sense of the attitude of the plane by uh, just trying to not look at any of the instruments and, and just going by feel. Okay, we do that? Yeah, so get it trimmed nice and level. And this should hopefully be a real eye opener for the uh, VFR only pilots out there. Yeah. It is unbelievable how quick you get yourself. All right, so you ready? I'm ready, so I'll... All right, so go ahead and look down, close down your eyes, close. just trust your senses, just fly based on feel, no peaking. We're looking over at 435. Of course, I can feel the sun coming from the left. At least right now, it's still from the left. Now, this is really eye-opening for VFR pilots. I, I forget uh, how long the average is before pilots get themselves into a death spiral, but um, I've seen... I've seen student pilots uh, fly for, you know, 10 seconds before they're they're in an unusual attitude. All right, this is looking beautiful. Well, I, I cannot sense anything different. I I feel like we're still straight and level. Okay. Something sounds different, but... Okay. And I can see, I can feel the sun moving, but that's probably cheating, right? Yeah, that so is based cheating. on the sun, I think we're in a left turn. No, the sun's just, the sun's just moving. Oh, okay. That's not the airplane. <laughs> You're actually doing a really good job. We still right side up? Yep. This is a lot harder when it's overcast. Because even with your eyes closed, you can feel the sun. Yeah, I know the sun is different from when we started, but... So the thing about a Bonanza in particular is as it, you know, it's always trimmed for a specific airspeed. So if we started off at 100, uh, you know, 30 knots, as you get into a tighter and tighter spin, uh, it's going to continue to to get tighter and tighter, and the real eye opener is when you finally go wings level. You're going to feel like you want to pull back, okay, but you're actually going to have to push forward because it's different now. Okay, that's no, looking good to me. Uh, Beautiful. We're pulling some G's. I remember, I know that. No, you're fine. Just try to fix. You know, just go based on feel. Okay, go ahead and look up, and go ahead and go wings out. level, and tell me if you're pushing or pulling to get it to level. What kind of control forces are you experiencing? I need to push now. Right, and that's what gets a lot of VFR pilots into trouble when they get into the clouds, is pushing forward is the, the, is the complete opposite of what you feel like you should be doing. You know, you feel like you should be pulling, right? Uh, because you're in a spiral, and that's what you're, you're sensing in your inner ear, but you actually have to push forward, which is completely counterintuitive. Ah, yes. Pretty brown this time of year. You know I prefer that over white. <laughs> I like snow. There's right, the new uh, ADM, so the field should be... Yeah, I got it. You got it? Yep. What answer is your thing, Bravo, has the field inside. 
Anza 70 Tango Bravo Roger, clear visual approach, runway 827, contact tower 118.7. Because we have strong wind from the south, no. It couldn't, like, we couldn't just end this with a nice smooth landing and no wind conditions or smooth wind on the runway. All right, landing checklist, gear down and lock, three greens, landing light is on. Mixture, enriched, gum short final. All right, let's see, grease it in. Every landing I try to grease it in. Even if no one's there to watch it. Those are usually the best. Yeah. My best landing ever was at Knoxville when you guys were already at the bar. <laughs> there was nobody on the field. Well, flown that that hurt double, right? You missed out on the drinks and nobody saw your landing. Yeah. Patrol 4, uh, there might have been, I'm not sure. I didn't actually see any birds at a primary target. So, um, uh, proceed to the runway 27, run up pad via Alpha and uh, cross runway 13 Alpha. Look at the uh, crap angle still. A little long. Should be doing yeah. a wheelie down the runway. You said greaser, you didn't say anything about short. Oh, okay. Can't do both? Or I can, but you didn't ask for it. Fair enough. Alpha 3 is the way to the hangar, so why would I... Bananas 0 Tango Bravo, stay parking. Northwest T's Bananas 0 Tango Bravo. Bananas 0 Tango Bravo, turn right on Alpha 3, text ramp, and remain this frequency. Right, Alpha 3 to the ramp, this frequency, Bananas 0 Tango Bravo. Thank you very much, have a good day. You too. Yeah, I like to give the tower guys a show. So they can admire my Bonanza all the way down the runway. Well, well you have the S model. I want to make sure that better, yeah. they have time Clear to take that. photos of Clear it. Clear right. Well, Matt, that was fun. Yeah, just thanks. Coming for, along. Thanks for the eggs, Benedict. Oh, you're welcome. And let's take you to Schaumburg sometime. If you if you've never been there, Pilot Pete's. That's my other favorite place. Yeah, uh, Madison's my favorite place for breakfast. Schaumburg is my favorite place for lunch and dinner. And passengers love it because they have a full bar. So, yeah. <laughs> I would love to see Pilot Pete's. Oh, th are those my gloves? Somebody's gloves. Oh, that's where they went. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Ever heard of FOD? <laughs> oh, wait, no, those aren't my gloves. It's got to be somebody else's. That are the same make and model of mine. Control 4, Roger. Huh. How'd that happen? That's got to be on the outtakes. <laughs>